So I made a very uh, quick how to write a feelings um, poem for you guys to watch. Hopefully this is helpful, um, but if you are somebody that is having difficulty with it, make sure that you are reaching out to me and emailing me because I really don't know if you're having trouble unless you do that. So, um, what is a feelings poem? As you see, I have a lot of different colored ink on this first page. Um, there's a reason for that that I will explain as I go through this. So, the top portion up here is just your guide to how to write this poem. Look at this often when you're writing this. This is to make your life easier, okay? So, the first line is the name of the feeling. So, whatever feeling that you choose to write about, that will be just that feeling in the first line, that's it. The second line will tell and describe the colors that describe the feeling. So this is up to you. What color do you think best matches that feeling? For example, if you're um, just say, I'm going to go really simple right here. Your feeling is happy. The color that describes the feeling, a good choice might be yellow or orange or some type of bright color. If you write black, that's probably not going to make that much sense or brown or dark blue or dark green. Because when you think about like happy, you think of lighter colors typically. Okay. So the third line tells and describes when this feeling happens. So when do you ex like, when did you think this feeling would happen? If we're going with the example of happy still, um, the feeling of happiness will probably happen when you're out like, or maybe you're celebrating a holiday with your family, for example. The fourth line tells and describes what the feeling sounds like. So what might you think of like in terms of sound? would be in that feeling. So again, with happy, maybe like the um, laughing of like kids. All right. That's something that is something that sounds happy. All right. Um, Cause if you just said about like babies crying, that wouldn't really make sense if your uh, feeling is happy in the example that I'm trying to make up as I go. So the fifth line tells and describes what this feeling feels like to you. So what does that have to do with you? All right. And then the last one, you're just going to repeat the name of the feeling. If you notice at the beginning, I said that you um, that you would see a lot of ink on this page. That is for a reason. So if you can see with this poem down here, the example joy, this is the same exact example um, from the poetry PowerPoint that you guys have already seen. And when I say PowerPoint, I mean Google Slides. Um, so first line and sixth line, that's just the feeling joy. It's in red in the first and the sixth. So this um, in purple, second line tells and describes the colors that describe the feeling. Joy is tickle me pink with a touch of pur purple mountain majesty. Notice how this example, they didn't just say the color. They elaborated a little bit more about it. Um, so make sure that when you go to write your own, you're thinking about like, think about the Crayola box of crayons, how they all have like crazy names that go with them. Um, besides just saying like, for example, purple. All right. Could be purple majesty. Um, I'm not sure. It's been a while since I've looked at a box of crayons. But um, the third line tells and describes when this feeling happens. So it happens when you ace the test or when you are with someone you love dearly. So that's when you would feel joy is when you get a good grade or with your someone that you love dearly. For you guys, um, I mean, this could vary depending on what brings you joy if you were to use the um, feeling of joy. The fourth line sound or tells and describes what the feeling sounds like. So joy sounds like the jiggling or the giggling of a child who had opened a toy that has been sent with love from Santa Claus. All right. So that's just what the feeling might sound like. That could vary depending on like your personal experiences, what you associate with that particular feeling. It all just depends. All right. The fifth line tells and describes what the feeling feels like to you. It feels warming, beautiful, gleeful, and ecstatic. Notice all of the... Um, how do I say the more complex, uh, interesting words that the poet is using, um, rather than just saying it feels joyful. All right. That wouldn't be a very good, um, use of words for that line. And if you notice the poet also uses like one, two, three, four, four different words to describe what it feels like to them. So make sure you're including a lot of different feelings, um, for that one. And you're not just writing one thing. 
So this is an example. Go back to this slide. I think it's the most useful out of all of them. But um, I also uploaded a feelings word list. This is just something, to be honest, I just Googled. Um, and I just had to figure out uh, which one I like the best. I like this one um, maybe because it had like nice little emojis at the top. But this is a list for you to look at. So, you know, you can look at this and pick one of these words. If you're like, you know, I want to find my own word or if I have another word for feelings poem that I have in mind, do that instead. It's up to you. But this is here for your inspiration if you would like to use it. So how do I write this type of poem? Um, I pretty much just broke this into steps that are very similar to this slide. The first step is to choose the feeling. How could you choose feeling? You could go back to the feelings words list. You can look up some different feeling words on your own. I think this list is um, pretty good and it's not too overwhelming. So I would check this one out first. So step two, what colors relate to the feeling? So what colors do you think would be represented by that particular feeling? For example, if you're like going to say like, um, I don't know, like uh, upset, all right? Most likely um, I would think with that particular feeling, maybe like the color blue would go along with that. When does this feeling happen? So when do you feel um, upset? Okay, if I'm going with that example, I went from happy to upset. I don't know. So step four, um, what might the feeling sound like to you? This means when would you, um, like, what would you, what sounds do you associate with that particular feeling? And then step five, what does this feeling mean to you? So is it significant um, and how is it significant to you? All right, so then, for example, if you are saying, it's um, like upset, all right? Um, the feeling means to you is to be, um, I don't know, disgusted and, you know, sorrowful. Those would be two words that you could use um, for that line. And these steps are broken down into the lines. But remember, feelings poem needs to be six lines. I really tried to explain this well, but again, if I didn't, make sure that you are sending me an email um, and make sure you are filling out the Google forms. I will be checking those to make sure you guys are on the right, right track.